Tuesday. I have the day off today, which I'm so grateful for, and I also have Wednesdays off every week, so I have a little two-day break. I'm currently studying for my spirituality midterm. I'm like trying to memorize the texts that I'm going to reference in my essay because we can't use the readings when we're doing the essay, so I'm like reading through them, annotating them, memorizing them, thinking about them, and then I'm going to like draft my essays because he's already given us like our midterm prompts. It is 9.30 so I have a lot of the day ahead. I've gotten so much done already. I finished editing an entire YouTube video which felt so good. I have lots I want to get done today. I would love to get some painting done. I'm going to the gym today. I have a stream today. Lots of really fun things and I definitely need to study for my midterm and get some other classwork done for other classes. I'm having a really good day and Things are going well. And I'm also going to go to a cafe later today. And I think I might also go to a bakery. I'm not sure, possibly. Uh, it's a beautiful day out, so I'd love to go for a little adventure. And maybe go to the park too. We'll see. We'll see what I can fit in today. We'll do some other stuff tomorrow too. I'm wearing jeans. I don't know why, but I've like randomly been feeling like wearing jeans. So I took these out and I'm just wearing a baggy t-shirt, which I love. I don't know. I was just feeling this vibe today. Uh, I'm about to go to a cafe and get... I can't decide if I'm getting a chai or a matcha. I'm going to decide when I go there. And then I think I might go for a little walk and go to the park. It's almost 11 a.m. right now, so I have... I'm doing good on time. So I think I'm going to go for a little walk, clear my head, come back and get some more work done, go to the gym, and then stream. So we have a list of things to do, but it looks so beautiful out, and I want to go for a walk and listen to my audiobook. I'm currently listening to Stanley Tucci's memoir, Taste, or like kind of, it's kind of like a cookbook, it's just about like kind of his culinary life. Um, I don't know why, but I've like randomly been in a memoir kick, I mean, I've literally read two. I just finished Jeanette McCurdy's um, Glad My Mother Died like a couple days ago, and I've been listening to this book on audiobook, so I've been powering through some books this this month. I think I'm gonna finish this audiobook like within the next couple days, I have like two hours left on it. And I ordered a bunch of books, so we're gonna do a little book haul in a little bit when they come. They're not supposed to come till next week. Alright, I'm gonna go get my little treat and go for a walk. I totally forgot to vlog when I got back from the gym, but I am home now. I showered to the after gym sit on the floor. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know if that's a common thing, but like when I get home from the gym, I just have to like sit on the floor and drink water for like 15 minutes and just like come back down. <laughs> but I literally just pressed a lot go live, so I'm about to stream. We're playing Stardew today. I'm very excited. But yeah, today has been so good. I've gotten so much done and I'm really, really proud of myself. Like, and I still have tomorrow off, so like tomorrow's gonna be a more fun day. Like I can paint, like I don't think I'm gonna have the chance to paint today, but I'm gonna paint tomorrow and maybe, I'm, I think I have plans with a friend tomorrow. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. Today has been a really good day. I needed a day like this. So it is 11 o'clock on Wednesday. I've had such a good day. I've literally done so much. I've been awake for like four hours. I've just been working so hard. I had to do like a field study. So I went outside and then ended up going for like an hour long walk. And I st stopped at like one of my favorite cafes. They were out of decaf espresso. So I had to get a chai latte and the person that made it did not make it right. But it's okay, it's fine. And then I got a croissant and I sat outside for a little bit, but it is 11. Unfortunately, my plans had to cancel. So I literally have the entire day. I might hang out with some friends later tonight, but that's not till like seven. So I literally have the entire day. And I think I'm gonna paint. So I'm almost done 
done with this painting. I worked on it a bit on stream and I just have some final details to do. It's felt so good to paint again. I haven't been doing it for a while but I'm kind of going through like a creative breakthrough and I've actually been wanting to talk about this. This is a little nerve-wracking because it's the first time I've like spoken it into words. So if you've listened to a couple of my podcast episodes, I have talked about this before, about like just this mental block I've had especially with writing. I used to write as a kid, I literally would write stories, like books, and I thought I was going to be an author and then one day I just couldn't write anymore. There was this pressure, I was putting too much pressure on myself to like make it right and just do so good and then like everyone was like, like people would tell me like oh like how would you be successful in that and somehow that didn't apply to painting and art. Like for some reason my brain could handle that but for writing like there was just this immense pressure I felt that like stopped me from writing. I think I stopped when I was like 10 or 11 and I went through a lot of stuff in my early teen years and I'm sure that kind of affected it too but I wrote my first poem again a few weeks ago I'm gonna cry and I started writing a book it's like literally not even a page but like I have this character in my head and I have another idea for another book and it feels so right like I wrote two poems last night I have this little journal that I call my writing journal like in my like just a creative idea journal like I bring this with me wherever I go and I write poems in it and do sketches and it feels so good I feel like I'm finally accessing parts of myself that I couldn't for so long and it's still really fragile <laughs> like I have days where I like can't write because I'm putting too much pressure on myself because I don't have certain things figured out yet but like it's okay and I'm just trying to enjoy it and I think one of the big things is I think I need to be outside <laughs> like I've been walking so much more and that's been helping my creativity a lot just because it's fall and fall is my like prime period so I think this weekend I might like go to the park and bring my laptop and bring a journal and just write because I think that's like the environment I need to be in for these early stages especially but until I get to like the point where it's like I know it's where it's going because I don't yet I just have this voice of this character like he's just witty and sarcastic and like he's so solid in my head and I'm trying to figure out like where that story is gonna go and I'm just I'm working that stuff out and I'm just letting it come to me and trying not to put too much pressure on it but I have been tiring to write at least a couple sentences a day even just like sentences I want to be in there but I don't know where they will be yet you know but it's just felt so good and I feel like it's allowing me to access a part of myself I've been so cut off from for so long and like that's something I'm working on in my like art as well my like physical art I got way too in my head and stopped creating because I thought I wasn't good enough but the only way you can get better is by doing it and this painting in particular has like opened a door because I got these little canvas and I was really struggling with this painting in the beginning. If you watched my streams, I literally wanted to quit so bad. I had the wrong yellow. It just wasn't looking the way I wanted to. And I stuck through it. And now this is like one of my favorite pieces. I like will, I just leave it here and I'm reading in bed and I'll just stare at it. It has a little bit more I want to do, which I'm actually going to work on today. And I want to start another one. But I want to do so many things with this painting. Like my mom wants stationery from it. I kind of want to put it on tote bags and journals. And I don't know. It's just like opened something and I think I'm going through like a really big creative shift and I want to like I said I'm working on honesty and like expressing these things more and I'm so excited to see where this goes I have big dreams and a lot of all of those dreams stem from creativity like goals in my career I like I'm studying to be an artist like a designer like I want to do art for the rest of my life and I really hope this shift will like stay around because I've gone through a lot of transformations 
but then I always like rock back to the insecurity and I think I'll always have that like I think that's something you just constantly have to work on as an artist but I think I'm getting somewhere <laughs> and I've been just been having these anxieties lately of just about like how I feel like not where I want to be but I am I'm in art school and I forget like that this is where I wanted to be two years ago and like I'm so happy where I am but I also want to fast forward to the part where I'm in like a successful career but I'm just not recognizing how beautiful this moment is and I like know in my heart of hearts that I will get to where I want to be in the time it's meant to happen and I can't speed that up all I can do is do the work I love and just keep on working and pursuing what I love and just being honest and creating from my soul and I'll get there eventually and I just have to enjoy where I am now and I don't know, I'm just really excited. I am going to eat my croissants <laughs> and work on this painting. I have a little bit of studying to do today but I have so much time and I just got back from a walk so I'm like ready to be creative so we're gonna do it.
off to such a good start. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I've got like a good solid like half an hour on that painting, I think. And I think I pretty much finished this. I might add like a couple more touches, but I'm so happy with it. I think I'm gonna take a video, a uh, picture of it and get some mock-ups of products I wanna use with it or create with that design on it but the sun is beating through the window right where i'm sitting to paint and like i can feel it on my neck and the camera is getting hot so i'm gonna take a break probably play some video games get some studying done but this painting started off strong like i'm not feeling the like messy doubt yet and i'm really happy with the way it's going so far i'm just like laying down the base colors and getting positions right but i'm really happy with it i'm having a lot of fun i still have a little paint on my palette which i feel bad about but I need a break. I'm literally like so hot and I'm worried my neck's gonna get sunburnt. But this has been so nice. I'm so happy.